Hey folks, it's Jim. I wanted to go over these um, Hulk Oiland uh, lamps. Uh, they were getting mixed reviews online. I looked at them. I decided no, I'm not going to buy them because there were too many negative reviews. I did notice a correlation in the negative reviews having to do with the batteries. So when that came on, I know that a lot of times people are charging batteries on bad voltages. So when Amazon sent me a lightning deal for these, I went ahead and picked two up. Um, some of the neat things you might like to know about this, these, this product, uh, is that it can charge cell phones. Uh, it's USB chargeable as well. So from our cell phone chargers, we can recharge these at 5 volts. Uh, they come with two 18650, 2200 milliamp hour cells per unit. So that right there was uh, decent for the price that I got them at anyway. Uh, so we get four of these total, two for each unit, and that gives us 4400 milliamp hours for, uh, per unit, um, which is pretty decent. And that means we could use half the capacity to put a, an emergency charge on a cell phone or something like that. And again, they do charge off our cell phone. Now, uh, let's go over some of uh, the stuff that I like to look at since most of the complaints on these were batteries. Um, I like to get devices like this and before I allow anything to touch my cell phone I go ahead and check the voltage right okay we're at no amps and let's see five point it's above five volts so that tells me okay we're good on voltage then the next thing I do is we're not just uh, checking it for voltage out but also voltage in so we want to make sure whatever we're charging these with, right, also has a good voltage. And this is how I do it. So I recommend to everyone who's using 5 volt stuff, see that? I know I'm getting 5.1 volts in at 0.67 amps. And so this is my phone charger. My phone charger plugs in to my Droke uh, meter. And then I have two outs so I can charge a Bluetooth and a cell phone at the same time. This charger only puts out 1.25 amps, so I don't ever want to exceed that. My phone charges at about uh, 0.7 amps, and my Bluetooth charges at about 0.9, so, or 0.7 amps, and my Bluetooth charges at about 0.09. So, um, you know, all in all, uh, it they're the voltages are checking out very well and I think that's where some of the battery problems are coming in as with most of these devices okay that's what I find is people are using bad chargers and they don't even know they have a bad charger then the next thing to go is their cell phone battery starts failing because um, they really didn't uh, check their charger so I recommend you get those they're inexpensive um, this is like uh, this tester is like maybe two bucks the other ones maybe five the two port tester something else I wanted to show you was you can use double A batteries as well but you're not going to have the recharging ability when you do the double A batteries uh, at least not recharging via your um, USB to recharge the device itself even if you use rechargeable batteries I don't think you can recharge uh, via your charging so but with the 18650 cells you can recharge and at 4400 milliamps it's pretty good the other thing I wanted to point out was the thickness of the battery plate uh, inside here um, I thought those were pretty decent thickness and the springs are definitely stiff so I really like the build and the reason why I'm showing you that is because I dropped this in a puddle all the way up to here and it had to stay there for about 12 to 15 seconds while I was getting my um, generator finishing with uh, what I was doing with it before I could pick it up it had fallen out of my pocket right into a puddle and it didn't cover the whole unit but it did come up all the way up the back so it was the back was submerged and that's where our controls are and our access to our battery pack well I picked it up uh, wiped it off on my pant leg uh, push the on button and sure enough it worked so I was very happy with that uh, then uh, I 
uh, got it inside and opened it up and sure enough uh, it was completely dry so while it's not rated to be waterproof it did handle that now uh, I'll show you some brightness um, that's the first level second level flash sorry um, uh, those of you who are sensitive to strobe sorry about that uh, so uh, I wouldn't rate these at, at 1500 lumens per unit they may be 1500 lumens uh, but the light is so far dispersed that uh, I just wouldn't give them 1500 lumens. I'm giving them more like 750 lumens per unit. Something else I like about it is because of the way the handle is, we can give it a negative angle. Okay, see how it's shooting downward uh, a little bit here? Okay, so isn't that nice? Then, you know, obviously you can go back to level and we can go way down. We can point this click by click just about at anything we're doing. And I really like that. That's handy for plumbing until we go flat. So that's another reason why I wanted these. Get into tight spaces and be able to angle this wherever I need it. Plus hang it, uh, carry it like a lantern. That was nice. We've got the USB charging. Really nice. Um, and it does charge my cell phone. Uh, let me show that. Let's disconnect this one. Let's plug in this uh, USB real quick. And then we're going to plug in a cheap cell phone. And let's get that done. And voila. If you can look up there, the top where our battery is, up here, we are charging. So it does what it says it will do. Um, and I'm very pleased with it. The voltages are good, which means it won't ruin my batteries thus far. Again, I haven't owned these long, uh, about three days. Um, they're very versatile. They come with uh, four of these, two each, for, you know, a two-pack for each unit. <coughs> which I was very impressed with, too. These batteries alone are worth uh, probably six bucks to eight bucks. Um, so at the price I got them, I really couldn't pass it up because again, they were on a lightning deal, but I just wanted to share on this video, that main point that folks, if you are not putting the right voltage, no battery is going to look good. Okay. So that's why I recommend, I don't charge anything without being able to tell the voltage and the amps that's going to it. And my simple drope meter gives me that. It tells me exactly what my charger is doing to the device it is. That also could be a problem with the receiving device of a charge that its controller, okay, is not working well and something's off with it. And immediately we will know and that will save us a lot of batteries that we could potentially ruin or give low charges to, which then makes us think we got a bad battery. But I wanted to share that because almost all of the bad reviews, these get four stars even with some of the bad reviews, and there were a lot of them on batteries. Uh, I think that could be part of the problem right there. Um, and again, uh, folks, I recommend you spend, you know, five or ten bucks on a couple of meters to make sure you know exactly what's happening to your batteries in today's world. Some of these cell phone batteries are very expensive and all of that. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Um, so far, so good. Again, I don't believe they're 1,500 lumens. I believe they're more like 750 on the high and 250 to 3 on the low. Uh, the strobe, I don't, you know, it seems to be super on the high bright side. Um, but yeah, uh, at the price that I got them at, I'm very pleased with the device. It does what it says it will do. It also landed in the puddle, stayed dry on the inside. Still working great. Uh, I'm very impressed with that as well. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up on build quality. I'm going to give it a thumb sideways on the overestimation of the lumen output. And no way that's uh, that's 1,500 lumens. But um, maybe together they're 1,500 lumens, and that's what they were going for. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to give these a thumbs up at the low $20 range for the two of them. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope this review has been helpful, uh, and get some, you know, get the, uh, charging analyzers. So you know what's exa what ex exactly is happening to your batteries, because it may not be the battery's fault. It may be the charger. Jim out.